happens. I have no idea what episode we're on, so I'm just gonna like pull out a random number and guess it's number six or seven. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that happens so much, especially in YA. It's cringe-worthy book moments. Those moments where you're just like, dear God, I hope this does not happen again. This is just like, ah. like good cringe-worthy. Some of it is like both good and bad cringe-worthy. Cringe-worthy moment number one. This is one that could either be like, kinda hot or just like kinda not. Usually when it happens in fantasy books I'm like, okay, I'm okay, this is cool. Sometimes it happens in contemporary books and I'm just like, no, no. When one character says, you're mine. I usually say this like way, way, way too soon in the book. So for example, like the characters will know each other for like all of a week and then all of a sudden they're like, you're mine. And then I'm just like, uh, control issues. Yep. That one, it's like sometimes it's just so hard for me to read because I'm like, you don't even know each other like you don't know like this person could be a murderer you don't know you don't know and you're already like claiming them and they're not an object they're a person like come on people but then in some books for example <laughs> a court of mist and fury <laughs> by sarah j moss it's totally cool and like totally like yes okay yes yes, yes. Worthy moment number two. When a character gets caught in a lie, and usually this is more of like a comical cringeworthy. Usually the reader in, um, in these sorts of stories will know like everything that's going on, um, and so you'll know what all the other characters know, and then there'll, there'll just be this one character that like like says something and the other character knows it's a lie and like just like just immediately knows I'm just like no don't lie yeah that one that one always is like Arr! but it's kind of funny it's more comical cringy comical cringy that is a thing by the way number three oh three okay, this one happens all the time and this one happens in movies too so this is gonna be like a crossover usually in a book a character will kind of like zone out or something and then just like stare off at something in the distance and then it isn't until like after they're like kind of come back and they're like oh my Oh my gosh, I was actually staring at a person and that person knows that I'm staring and it's usually either really like awkwardly cringy or just really cute and funny so I'm gonna go with the cringy one for here because I've recently read books where this has happened and I'm just like ah. Number four, I actually lied, I have six cringeworthy moments so we have two more after this one but number four. Oh my gosh, okay this is like a throwback, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna exclude Twilight for this one but every book after Twilight um, and just so many books like this one also is not only a cringeworthy moment but also like a, just like an irking moment like a little bit of like a bookish pet peeve for me but it happens all the time the character always always says this okay and again this one's kind of like number one where it can either be like kind of hot or like just like kind of not <gasps> you have no idea what you do to me da, da, da. and just whenever I think of this like whenever this happens in any book I just immediately go back to like think of Twilight it just it bugs me and just it happens all the time and usually when it happens I'm just like ah, I knew this line was coming again you've only known each other for like a week <laughs> number five this one's kind of like number four too this is just one of those lines that just somehow always ends up in a YA book and it's just like ah. you're not like other girls Dun, dun, dun. What do you mean like other girls like what like what like can you be a little more specific? And usually the main character will be exactly like other girls and they'll say this line and I'll just be like what do you mean? Again, this was kind of a pet peeve so this is like maybe kind of cringy for some people kind of not. Last one number six this one like kills me and this is a com it's like it's a comical cringy moment. You have a book it starts off with a girl and like for some reason this mysterious boy always keeps appearing around and it's kind of almost like a stalker situation okay this guy keeps showing up he's always here like I keep like it's just he always shows up and usually he shows up in like the nick of time for like really embarrassing moments for her and it'll constantly happen throughout the book and finally when they confront each other and she's like you like me or like you like why are you always stalking me and he's just like no I'm not stalking you what are you talking about and I'm like no 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 you have been around since page one and you are totally being stalkery but <laughs> they'll just be like no they'll just deny it and I'm just like lies. Anyways, okay, those are all my cringeworthy moments. I'm gonna have a part two to my cringeworthy book moments because I have so many more, but I just can't think of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!